What's up guys? We're here for another video. This one's gonna be the ECW event that I'm gonna do, but this one's actually, I'm gonna do like a pre-video for those that, I, I'm posting this one on a couple of different platforms as I just got added to a Murder Death Kill Club a group that um, I used to have issues with, but we're, we're all good now. Um, so I'm gonna make this little video, show them a little bit of how to do this. Um, and I can go through after and I'll make a second video on how the Steam Workshop works. But this is how you create a ring. You go, okay, so I will have to go back just a, just a tad so you guys can see exactly what's going on. But, um, and I fucking hit a button already, so I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, sorry. But as you can see, you go into, I believe it's edit mode. Yeah, edit mode. And you go through the Steam Workshop and you download everything. So I'm kind of doing this in reverse order. But through the Steam Workshop, you can go through. Um, you, I, I think you can find stuff while the game is open, but I'm not sure. I usually just leave the game closed so that when I reopen the game, when you open the game, all the things that you've downloaded through Steam Workshop will upload. And so what you do, like when you download a ring, you can download a set of a ring, you can download the aprons, the mats individually, whatever. Most people will create a set that you can download and you hit subscribe, okay? It, you don't like go individually and download it. You just hit subscribe to all if it's a set and you can do that. And so for this, you go to ring design. And so like I said, I'm gonna do that ECW November to remember. That will be too long, so I'm just going to shorten it like that. Um, make the American-style ring here. But now what will happen is there it, it goes to a certain file. Um, you can create stuff through this file, too. Um, I think it's through x86. Yeah, it actually says it here on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay, you can. So x86 Steam Apps or Steam slash Steam Apps Common, you go there and that'll be decal and mat. Okay, so like, I've made a couple of ring mats, like, that will pop up at the absolute bottom here because I made them and they have different different names. So, I've made these ones. Now, these other ones will be ones that I've downloaded. Now, you'll see that they have like a, I guess it's kind of a date of sorts that's attached to it, but that's basically where they'll be. Um, I think I have an ECW November to Remember Arena. I should. So I really should have looked at that before I started this video, but that's okay. Um, you go through and you won't... The only thing I don't like is that it has all that stuff at the beginning, but I don't really... I'm sure there's a way I could go through and delete it, but I just don't. Uh, okay, so there we go. There's November to Remember right there. So 11... That's what I always remember. 11, 90, 25, 24, 14. So you just kind of keep an eye... All of them that you download through a set will be very similar. They're usually made by the same creator. So you go through there, and so obviously the apron will match this. So that, okay, it should anyways. So go 11. I have a lot of shit downloaded, I'm sorry. I have like 3,000 things that I have on this thing. It takes my game a little bit to load up. So 11, 90, 25, 24. So I have to back up just a tad. If there even is one. There might not even be one. So, 27. So there might not even be one, actually. Or it's over here. That's weird. It showed up weird. Okay. So you go through, and you'll find that for basically everything. I mean, they'll, they'll all say the same thing. You know, the same number. That's what you go by for me, anyways. And some of them will come with corner mats. Some of them won't. Um, some of them will come with posts. Like, basically, it's all the little stuff. Like, what's funny about it, when you create it here, it looks really small. But when you actually play the game, it shows up a lot bigger. So, it like it might look like it's not really going to make that big of a difference. But when you once you actually make a mat or anything like that there it definitely makes a big difference. Um, now, I don't know if there's corner... I, I, they usually don't make corner mats, but sometimes they do. So, yeah, there's none for that one. 
So, and I doubt there's a post one because that's even less important, I suppose. So 11, yeah, so there isn't one for that either. But that's okay. Now, this is where you have the option of corner color. Now you can be, you can be a realist and you can do exactly how you do it. I don't really care. I just make it however the hell I want. Um, I usually make all the corners match. I know that's that defeats the purpose of there being different colored corners, but you know, whatever. So this is November to remember. So I, I see some yellow in there. So I'll go ahead and make the post yellow or something like that. How about that? That doesn't sound too bad. Now I'm not the most creative fellow in the world, but as you see here, I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, you can see that. Wow, that's actually working pretty well. It usually doesn't record that well. So it says 255, 209, 25. So you'll want it. You don't have to remember that all, but it helps. So you can have the exact same matching color instead of trying to find it. So as you can see, it's the same color. Now you can try and remember. I probably just fucked it up already. Yep. 250. Uh, wait, was it 255 on the first one? It was 255, 209, 25. Okay. So 255. 209, 25, 255, 209, 55. Wait, I think I did the wrong, 25, not 55. Fuck, dunce. All right, so that's fixed. So I'll make the ropes kind of red. They look kind of red in that. I'll make them like a darker red. Now, like I said, here here is where you'll really notice the difference because you won't really like you won't see how how much that color makes a difference until you actually play a match in it but that's okay i mean it doesn't have to look perfect so matte color some some of them will have their own little matte to them and some of them won't um some of them will be made with like a png file like that's how i usually do it you put a png so that will go over whatever matte color that you decide to do and as you can see here there's different types of mattes so like there's that one that's I think of like a WCW ring where it's kind of smaller. There's that one where it's kind of multicolored. I usually just go type A so I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, apron color again, that's the same thing. This the, the aprons for some reason they didn't do PNGs, so it's automatically got a black apron there, so you don't even need to mess with that. But some of them will be transparent. So once you're done, make sure you name it, you hit confirm, and you save. You gotta save it. You gotta hit new save or you can do whatever. See, the first ring that I actually made was ECW Heatwave. So that would be how you go ahead and do that. Now let me see if I can pull steam up and I'll just do it in the same video and show you exactly where you can do that at. One of the, um, I don't know who it was, one of the admins at MDK was, I'm assuming that's either Michael or Nikki or somebody like that, but it could be even Bucky or, well, I guess Bucky and Andy are just uh, mods, but could be one of the various people there. Um, so I'll go ahead. I got Steam open here. Just let me go to that. I don't know if it'll let me while I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, well, okay. There we go. Sorry, just took a minute. Okay, so I'll put uh, Steam. Go through, find steam. I'll make that a little bigger so you guys can actually see that. But you go into your steam and view games library. Really could just hit library right there, but it wasn't showing up for some reason. I think because it's kind of smaller on my screen. There we go. But as you can see right here, right down here, there's that Steam Workshop, okay? Now, I don't know why that's showing up. But yeah, there's Steam Workshop here underneath of all that jargon up here. There's Steam Workshop. Now, you go to that, and you'll go browse the workshop, okay? And from there, you can search. You can, I mean, you can search just about anything. If you want to set, like what I did, I just searched ECW. And you can basically go to pretty much any wrestler um like you can see these d like you can see here on the bottom who the creator is so G djk 
M77. So that means this guy's made a bunch of them. So you can click on that, and when you do that, sorry, making sure you guys can see that. Okay, when you do that, you'll see here, it says original ECW. Now what you do is you click on that, and when you go to that, you'll see all of these ECW guys that will come. This is, mind you, this is the PC version. Now, I don't know if they've connected Steam and the PSN versions or if people are gonna have to redo them for the PSN. That would kind of suck. I'm glad I'm not a PlayStation guy. Unfortunately, I don't get to play Fire Pro on a console, but oh well. But as you can see up here, subscribe to all. If you do that, that will automatically download all those guys and, all, and basically, the next time that you run the game, it will have to load them up. And so you, so if you're playing the game and you just hit that, you can't automatically use them. You have to power down your game, reboot it. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you can search pretty much anything. I'm not going to say there's everything. Like, you can even search Deathmatch, for example. Like, that's not going to be every Deathmatch guy that there is. But there will be a decent amount of guys. I mean, there's some mats here that people have made. There's, like a wooden canvas mat, which is interesting. I don't think I've used that yet. But as you can see, Ryoji Ito pops up. Um, Matt Tremont's right there. Celebrity Death Matches Mills Lane is there. Um, Masada, FMW guys, a, a custom ring Onita Pro. You know, there's a bunch of stuff. There's June Kasai right there, kind of in an interesting little one. Mike, Mike Awesome, for some reason, pops up. But as you can see, that's guys. So you can search by name too. Like I'll search somebody who I'm wanting, but I don't think he's actually available. Alex Cologne. I don't think Alex Cologne is on here yet. And if he is, I didn't know about it. But so as you can see, he's not. So basically what that means is you can't, you can't just download him. You'd have to make him yourself. Now you, if you want to get all technical and do it, do it. The only, the only thing that kind of sucks about it is unless you get a set the guys might be a little unbalanced. So, for example, like you put June Kasai versus Marcus Crane. If somebody made that Marcus Crane basically OP, they're they're just gonna fucking kill June Kasai every time. Like I ran their matches a couple of times. They had some pretty good matches, but like that's basically how it works. Like these guys aren't all gonna be balanced, which is kind of a thing. Like you can go through and edit them, of course. But usually I don't even care. You know, I just do simulations. I don't even usually play the matches, I'm not going to lie. I just do simulation. But that's pretty much the gist of it. That's how you create a ring. And this is where you actually find the stuff to create that ring. So I hope this was informative. And I hope that this will help a couple people that might be uh, interested in getting in on Steam or on PC. Because I think it runs perfect. It doesn't bog your computer down. It's not super... Like, if you try to record with it and you don't have a really good computer, it might bog your computer down a little bit. But since I got a video card, it hasn't bogged my computer down once. Um, playing the matches even before would never bog my computer down. So it's not super extensive. It's not... It, it doesn't take up a bunch of memory on your computer. And as you saw earlier, you can go through to the mats and the rings and the aprons. And you could potentially create your own. You just find the sizing that they use... You go to GIMP or Photoshop or use whatever you want to use, create a PNG or a JPEG or anything. PNG will be basically transparent as long as you make the background transparent. You can put that over top of any color apron or anything like that. You can edit all that. So that's all up to you. So that's how you do that. And if you have any further questions, feel free to comment on this and let me know exactly what you'd like to know and what I might have passed over or not explained well enough. I'm very glad to help you. I hope you I hope this was informative and I'll see you soon.